Johnson & Johnson kicked off U.S. human safety trials for its COVID-19 vaccine after releasing details of a study in monkeys that showed its best-performing vaccine candidate offered strong protection in a single dose. NASA's next-generation Mars rover Perseverance blasted off from Florida's Cape Canaveral on Thursday atop an Atlas V rocket on a $2.4 billion mission to search for traces of potential past life on the Red Planet. The United States will establish a permanent military presence in Poland as it deploys around 1,000 additional U.S. troops there, Poland's defense ministry said on Friday. The Taiwanese government said it will hold a state funeral for former President Li Donghui, a figure respected on the island for ending autocratic rule, but branded by China as a national sinner. Attorney General William Barr testified before the House Judiciary Committee on Tuesday, denying accusations he is doing President Donald Trump's bidding by intervening in high-profile cases and sending federal agents to quell violence in U.S. cities. A doctor in Texas has put together a promising protocol for treating patients with COVID-19. The treatment protocol is intuitive for a doctor. New South Wales police on Monday warned students of Chinese backgrounds studying in Sydney to be aware of a virtual kidnapping scam that has obtained millions in payments from unsuspecting victims. Russian scientists are poring over the stunningly well-preserved bones of an adult woolly mammoth after local inhabitants discovered its remains in the shallows of a North Siberian lake. For the first time in the modern era, amidst efforts to curb COVID-19, Muslims from abroad will be unable to make the Hajj. The week-long pilgrimage and once-in-a-lifetime duty for able-bodied Muslims who can afford the cost to visit Mecca, the holiest city in Islam. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson has postponed a plan of easing coronavirus lockdowns in England after a rise in infections. 